I was curious because uh, uh, we're always talking like it seems like everybody is rebooting everything and revisiting things. Yes. And I'm sure that there's probably been some discussion at some point about your touch by an angel character, uh -huh. even though even though you're the, you know, uh, your friends are gone. I know my yeah. friends gone home my friends are now with the angels and that's right uh, yeah i know no we lost john die much too early and uh and as you know you know i was such great friends with della right up to you know her final moments i i was yeah. so privileged to be able to be with her through her final illness and um you know she's just i just miss her so much i miss her um I know if I, you know, I think that it would be lovely for it to come back. I really do, you know, and I, you know, it's a, it would be CBS would have to make that call. So if anybody, but I would love to, I would love to not just be in it, but produce it. And I would produce it with CBS, I think, if they were interested. And maybe now, but, you know, for 10 seasons or however long we run, my daughter laughs and she goes, mom, you're like Monica just, you know, she kept having to learn, you know, that was sort of the device that Tess, Della's character was the older, wiser angel. Right. Yeah. I was the novice angel, you know, and it's like, how, for how many years could I still be the novice angel? So maybe I, could, <laughs> yeah. maybe in the new version, I could get to come back and, and finally be the wise angel. Yeah, I could there you go more of the test role you know now it's right. monica older older wiser monica and then we could find some great young actress to be you know to be the the, the novice you know yeah um in the in the original version of touch by an angel we did a pilot and the pilot never aired and we then we they they, they tested it it didn't air but they kept the uh, the premise, and they kept Della and I, and um, and they kept the characters, the, the characters and the characters' names. And then we brought in a new executive producer, and we did a new improved pilot. Um, but in the original pilot that never aired, they had Monica uh, dropped out of the sky <laughs> into the ocean. And it was like, you know, a brand new, she'd never been in human form before. And she dropped into the ocean and there were a couple of like, um, like beach bums and it was Santa Monica Bay. And she kind of climbs out of the ocean covered in, you know, wet and uncertain where she was. And she says to these two beach bums, she's like, excuse me, where am I? And the guy said, you know, you're in Santa Monica, dude. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so, so then she, you know, walk, walks up the street. She she knows where she's supposed to go find Tess. That's the only instruction she has. And then somebody she meets asks her her name, but she doesn't have a name. She's just a brand new angel. But the only reference she has is is Santa Monica, and so she says uh, Monica, and so that's where the name came from, which is. So, you know, I just think it's so funny. We never, that never aired, you know, you you wouldn't know that, but oh, just wow. a, a little behind the scenes tip that how Monica got her name, but um, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's great. That's yeah, great. but I think, you know, again, just because of the need for stories of hope and encouragement, I think it's a, you know, it was a great, I, you know, it was such a great f format for a show. And I, it really tackled pertinent social issues, you know, and yeah. but, and you know, encouraged the people to. It wasn't like they came, I came in ever with a magic wand to fix the problem for you, you know. It was really just that it was like surrender. Hand the minute the person was able to open up and say, "I can't do this by myself. I need help," you right. know, that the minute the vulnerability, then the heart opens, you know, and that's when yeah. spirit moves. And I find that in my own life too, you know, when the heart opens. And so in the making of content, I think it's important for us as content makers to make content that opens the heart. I always say yes. it's my job to open the heart and yes. then the Holy Spirit will do the rest, you know? Right.